Hi, I'm Christian Jacob and we are at Nightbird Studios and you're watching Studio Sessions. No one warned us. No one said you were going to lose both engines at a lower altitude than any jet in history. This was dual engine loss at 2,800 feet followed by an immediate water landing with 155 souls on board. No one has ever trained for an incident like that. Our job is to investigate how a plane ended up in the Hudson River. On the Hudson. It's not a crash, it was a forced water landing. Simulation showed that you could make it back to the airport. Not possible, I felt it go. My aircraft. Your aircraft. I want you to know I did the best I could. Of course you did. You saved everyone. People call you a hero. I don't feel like a hero. <laughs> I was uh, four, four years old, really, when I showed some interest in the, the piano we had, you know, the little upright piano we had, and so I was kind of playing, and suddenly my mother recognized the a melody that I was trying, from the radio that I was trying to reproduce. So that was there. I had my first lesson very soon after and uh, and I basically worked very hard since that day. <laughs> the band, the so the Tierney Sutton band uh, has started about 23 years ago and uh, we were, we had, you know, before that, uh, uh, Trey Henry and the bass player and Ray Brinker, the drummer, and I were played together in the Maynard Ferguson big band in the, the early 90s. And so we knew each other. And uh, Tierney Sutton came uh, back from Boston where uh, she was uh, so about uh, in, in the early 2000s and then uh, we met all together about that time um, uh, actually you know it was before 2000 obviously at 23 you know my, my math is like a, but I know it was over 20 years ago it was about 23 years ago um, and then uh, we met, uh, I remember we were playing with Jack Sheldon, big band, and then suddenly she was asked to, to sing a song and we were like, who's that singer? She was unbelievable, like a, a jazz singer really, that uh, musician, you know, uh, who could really uh, improvise and right away we were all very interested uh, by what she was doing and as I understand vice versa she was right what's this rhythm section uh, very interesting and so we ended up recording uh, a first CD together that uh, she had like a, a contract from uh, I forget if it was in Norway or one of Nordic Nordic countries something like that and uh, that was the very first CD which was called introducing Tierney Sutton and that's the very first CD where we were all together and then since we did like 10, 10 albums together where we concentrated on on the American songbook and and bring out like uh, very interesting arrangements like uh, our approach has always been of uh, uh, being collaborative and so there was not really one arranger for the band but we were all kind of going in. I, I was bringing arrangement at first and then we were changing it on the go and say okay well let's do it and then uh, it has become the way of, uh, of the band. Clint was a fan of the Tierney Sutton band for I think uh, about 10 years and uh, and we, we learned that um, uh, and, and, and then he hired us uh, like quite a few times I think we had like a, uh, about six seven years ago we were hired in Carmel where, where Clint lives and then uh, we did uh, see him come at some of our 
of our gigs. We were playing and then suddenly playing at Catalina and then he was in in the room and even coming back the next day. So it was really, anyway, being a fan, he, uh, suddenly we got a call and uh, he told us, well, uh, could you come uh, and I want to show you something. So at the Warner Brothers studio, uh, Tierney and I went to the studio not knowing exactly what was in his mind, but we knew it was a viewing. And so, and it was the viewing of Sully. Uh, not finished, you know, still having some drawings uh, instead of the final cuts. And then we noticed there was uh, some of the uh, music, um, the, temp, the temp music in there was cuts from some of our CD. Uh, one was uh, from my, my own personal uh, latest uh, solo CD and then uh, some of Tierney uh, singing a cappella and things like that. So, wow, and I remember Tina and I looking at each other. We really loved, loved the movie, one thing. And then thinking, oh, we probably maybe he want to ask us to, um, um, you know, if he can use that music. Uh, I, I, we, we were not really sure. But at the end of the viewing, he said, well, would you, would you uh, how would you be interested in scoring the movie, in making the music for the movie? So, uh, wow, we were really excited. And he, re he wanted to have the, um, the approach that we had in the band, which was a collaboration. And so, and he was very much involved in that co collaboration. So, I, I, after that first viewing, personally, I had right away an idea in my head. I, I remember in my, with three or five minutes into the movie and I had an, a little musical idea. I, I saw uh, the, you know, the character of Sully and, and I had that little motif, motif in my head that said, well, that, that kind of goes and uh, it really, I can figure out a, a theme from that very quickly. And so by the end of the viewing, I, I actually told Clint, I said, well, actually, I, I, I heard a little something. I have an idea for, I have to work on it, but I, I kind of have an idea and I'd love to, uh, to show it to you if, the, if it's okay. And he said, well, great, I have an idea too. So we ended up meeting the next day uh, and uh, in front of the piano and then uh, I, sh I played him my ID and he played me his. So it was a theme, a great theme. And so we ended up, uh, he, he, on mine he said, well, I'm glad we're on the same page. So showing me he was, he was happy with, uh, with my theme and, uh, and he was very humble about his because he even said, you don't have to use it. So he, he was really, uh, the, the trust that uh, we felt right away was unbelievable. Uh, the, so we, that we really had the, the total control of, uh, uh, of the score. I actually wrote another theme later Actually, two other ones. Uh, an, another one which is more of a vindication theme, and then another one who was more like a, of a stress uh, series of chords where we could improvise around it. And, and, and uh, so, but the, so uh, Clint's theme has been used. Um, Tierney wrote some lyrics uh, on it, and you can hear that, that song at the end of the movie in the credits. Um, we had a, 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 my, my original theme was just instrumental and y you hear this theme mostly in the movie and a lot in the beginning. Uh, there's a lo lot of uh, piano solo uh, takes of it, a little improvisation on it. Clint really loves piano and uh, so having the piano uh, sound uh, about the character of Sully, I think, uh, was really perfect, and um, and so well, yeah. There's a lot of other uh, 
the, the vindication kind of got a little cut uh, as well as the, the stress. So, I mean, music, uh, the score has uh, not, not, you know, about a total of 23, 25 minutes of underscoring, which is not too much, but uh, I hear it's more than usual. On Clint's movie usually has very little underscore. So what was interesting is uh, so the Tiernes the Tiernes Sutton band uh, we were just working on a new a new CD our new CD uh, which is on the music of Sting so which was like a departure from us uh, from the American Songbook we were you know was after so many CDs was so we pushed it the bass player uh, Trey Henry really uh, produced it and so he in this case really brought a lot of uh, ideas for that new uh, that new CD uh, and uh, we well we we came and worked all together as we usually do but uh, in this case uh, most of the credit goes to him and uh, that CD we ended up what was about to to come out uh, you know the same about the same time so of course we said oh let's bring it out the same day as Sully comes out so uh, it came out uh, last uh, September 9 and um, and then now now there's the soundtrack uh, CD coming out in a couple of weeks uh, the, where where you'll find all the music of uh, Sully, like uh, even the ones that has been uh, cut on the floor, you know, uh, the, all the different uh, cues that we had. I had written like a a ten minute uh, suite uh, orchestral with like all the different themes that we use. So I kind of put them together into a suite and. Uh, uh, so the the soundtrack CD will open with that, and then you'll have all the little, and you'll have the two songs with lyrics, uh, and so that comes out. Uh, I think it should be out audio only right now, but in a, and it's with a, uh, the um, the company Varez Saraband. Uh, well, I'm I'm Facebook uh, on a Christian Jacob music page. Uh, I have uh, just joined uh, Twitter uh, a couple of days ago. Yes. <laughs> I kind of was trying not to, <laughs> but uh, all right, and I'll, I'll try to be good with Twitter. I don't know. I'm learning. Hi, my name is Christian Jacob and you just got buzzed. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye.